and welcome to Broadway Follies, our virtual fundraiser for the Joyce Middle School Theatre Program. As many of you may know, we started this program last year with our debut performance of Annie Jr., which was a huge success. Since then, we've been meeting with our wonderful students virtually, teaching them about all things musical theatre. From belting out songs to performing moving monologues, these kids can do it all. Our goal for this program has always been to instill a love of music and theatre in young minds, and that hasn't changed, even when so much in this world has. Tonight's performance is the culmination of all of their hard work, and we're incredibly excited for you to see it. Thanks to all of you, we've raised over $3,500, which is crazy, um, and this will go a long way in keeping our program alive. We are planning to put on The Little Mermaid Jr. this spring in a COVID-safe way. These funds will be used to purchase the rights, create wonderful sets and costumes, and overall improve the experience for our students. Um, this has been a hard year for so many, but thanks to your help, we'll be able to brighten up the lives of these amazing students by giving them the chance to do something that they love. Thank you. <laughs> Before we get started, there are a few people we'd like to thank. First, to our amazing advisors, Mr. Harnden and Mr. Briggio. They have volunteered so much of their time to support us and the kids, and we know this program would be nothing without them. We would also like to thank Mr. Qualey for his constant support of the JMS Theater Program and for always encouraging the arts in Woburn. To our students for coming each week with a positive attitude and willingness to adapt despite this crazy year. You have been so fun to work with and we are super excited for what the rest of the year will bring. And finally, to all of you at home for your continued support and generosity towards our program. We're constantly overwhelmed by the incredible response from the Woburn community and beyond and we can't thank you enough. So, without further ado, the JMS Theatre family presents Broadway Follies! For our opening act, we have our group's rendition of When I Grew Up from Matilda the Broadway Musical, featuring solos from many members of our program. Grown up. 
when I grow Just up. because you find your life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. If you always take it on the chin and wear it, nothing will change. Just because I find myself in this story, it doesn't mean that everything is written for me. If I think the ending is fixed already, then I might as well be saying, I think that it's okay. And that's My name is Kawan, and for my monologue, I will be doing Violet from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So, this character is obsessed with gum to the point that it's most likely an addiction. Not a healthy addiction, but definitely an addiction. So, I'll be imitating her. Okay. I'm a gum chewer normally but when i heard about these ticket things of mr wonka's i laid off the gum and switched to candy bars in the hopes of striking it lucky now of course i'm right back on gum i just adore gum i can't do without it i munch it all day long except for a few minutes at meal times when i take it out and stick it to the back of my ear for safekeeping <laughs> To tell you the honest truth, I simply wouldn't live without gum. Like, I just can't live without gum. Like, what am I going to be doing without gum? How am I going to be concentrating without gum? Like, my mom says it's not ladylike to, for my jaws to be going up and down through the whole day. But who's she to criticize anyway? Because if you ask me, I say that her jaws are going up, up and down every single minute of the day. Like, I I love gum more than my mom, you know? And now it may interest you to know that this piece of gum that I'm working on, it's one that has I've been working on for over three months solid. And that is a record. And it's beaten the record held by my best friend, Miss Cornelia Prince Metal. And not to brag or anything, but this is now my most treasured possession in my life now. And... With gum at nights, especially with this gum for the past three months, I just stick it on the end of my bedpost now, and it's as good as ever in the mornings. Thank you so much for watching my monologue. I hope you really enjoyed it, because the other acts are really good as well. So, uh. We would like to welcome next to our virtual stage, Lucy Rondeau and Riley Key performing The Other Side from the hit movie musical The Greatest Showman. Right here, right now, I put the off road. I wanna chase it down, but I know you see it. You run with me, and I can cut you free out of the treasury, the walls you keep in. So try that typical for something colorful. And if it's crazy, live a little crazy. You play it sensible, a king of conventional, or you can risk it all and see. Don't you. Wanna get away from the same old part you gotta play Cause I got what you need So come with me and take the ride And take you to the other side Cause you can do like you do Or you can do like me Stay in the cage Or you'll finally take the key Oh, dang, suddenly you're free to fly It'll take you to the other okay, side my friend You wanna cut me in But I hate to tell you But it just won't happen So thanks Trapped in. Now I admire you, and I will show you. You're onto something, really you need something. But I'll have among your clothes, and you don't care if you're not chill. Don't let the world get up to you. Don't you know that I'm okay with this up town part? I get to play, cause I got what I need, and I don't wanna take a ride. I need to see the other side, so go and do what you do. I'm good to do what me. Ain't in the cage, so I don't need to take the key Oh, dang, can't you see I'm doing fine? Let me see the other Now is this really how you like to 
spend your days mystery misery and parties and plays if i were mixed up with you i'd be the talk of the town disgrace and disown another one of the clowns but you would finally live a little finally laugh a little just let me give you the freedom to dream and it'll wake you up and cure your again take your walls and start a breaking now that's a deal that seems worth taking but I guess I'll leave that up to you. Well, it's intriguing, but to go would cost me greatly. So what percentage of the show would I be taking? Fair enough, you'd want a piece of all the action. I'll give you seven, we could shake and make it happen. I wasn't born this morning. Eighteen would be just fine. <laughs> Why not just go ahead and ask for nickels on the dime? Fifteen. I do eight. Twelve. Maybe nine? Ten. Don't you want to get away to a whole new part you're going to play? Cause I got what you need to come with me and take the ride to the other side. So if you do like I do, so if you do like me, forget the cage. Cause we know how to make the key. Oh, damn, suddenly we're free to fly. We're going to the other side. So if you do like I do, so if you do like me, Cause if we do, we're going to the other side We're going to the other side Next up, we have Aurora, Sienna, and Emma doing a quick scene from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory um, Emma as Veruca Salt, Aurora as Veruca's father, and Sienna as Willy Wonka Enjoy. I'm Veruca Salt. It's very nice to meet you, sir I always thought Veruca was a type of war you got on the bottom of your foot Daddy, I want a squirrel Get me one of those squirrels. I want one now. Veruca dear, you have many marvelous pets at home. All I have at home is one pony and two dogs and four cats and six bunny rabbits and two parakeets and three canaries and a green parrot and a turtle and a silly old hamster. I want a squirrel. All right, pet. Daddy will get you a squirrel just as soon as you possibly can. I don't want any old squirrel. I want a trained squirrel. <sighs> Very well. Mr. Wonka, name your price. How much would you like for one of these squirrels? Oh, them? They're not for sale. She can't have one. Daddy! I'm sorry, darling. Mr. Wonka's being unreasonable. If you won't get me a squirrel, I'll get one myself. Hi, I'm Megan Sheehy, and I will be singing You'll Be Back from Hamilton. You say... The price of my love's not a price that you're willing to pay. You cry in your tea, which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. Why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement when you went away. Now you're making me mad. Remember despite our estrangement, I'm your man. You'll be back, soon you'll see You'll remember you belong to me You'll be back, time will tell You'll remember that I served you well Oceans rise, empires fall We have seen each other through it all And when push comes to shove I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 Subject. Cause you're my favorite subject My sweet, submissive subject My loyal, royal subject Forever and ever And ever and ever and ever 
forever you'll be back like before i will fight the fight and win the war for your love for your praise and i'll love you till my dying day when you're gone i'll go mad so don't throw away this thing we have cause when push comes to shove i will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love da 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 Hi, I'm Kylie. Um, I'm playing Dewey from School of Rock. And um, the scenes where the students ask if they're going to learn something, and this is what he says in response. You want me to teach you something? What? You want to learn something? All right, here's a useful lesson. Give up. Just quit, because in your life, you can't win. Yeah, I guess you can try, but then you're just going to lose. Big time. Because the world is run by the man. Oh, you don't know the man. Man's everywhere. White House. Hall. Miss Mullen, she's the man. The man ruined the ozone, run down the Amazon, and he kidnapped Shamu and put her in a quarantine tank. Okay, and there used to wait, be a way to stick it to the man, and that was a little thing called rock and roll. But guess what? Oh no, the man had to ruin that too. It's a little thing called MTV. So don't waste your time trying to make anything cool or pure or awesome, because the man's just going to call you a fat, washed up loser and crush your soul. So do yourself a favor and just give up. Thank you. Next up, we have myself, uh, Melissa Murphy, and Tara Metter singing A Million Dreams from the Greatest Showman. Enjoy. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, and it feels like home. They can say, they can say, it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say, I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy. We can live in a world that we desire. Every night I lie in bed, brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me. Think of what the world can be, a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's been a day. A million dreams for the world we're gonna make. There's a house we can build, every room inside is still. Special things I can pile each one there and make you smile on a rainy day. They can, say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say we've lost our mind. 
I don't care, I don't care if they call us crazy. Run away to a world that we design. Every night I lie in bed, brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams keeping me awake. I think what the world could be, vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's gonna take. Million dreams for the world we're gonna make. However big, however small, let me be part of it all. Share your dreams with me. You may be right, you may be wrong. Say that you'll bring me along to the world you see, to the world I close my eyes. So I am doing a monologue by Peter Pan, but with a small comedic twist. Who's there? Is anyone there? What? The Indians were defeated and Wendy and the boys have been captured by the pirates? I'll rescue her. I'll rescue her. What? Oh, that's just my medicine. Poisoned? Nonsense. Who could have poisoned it? I promised Wendy to take it, and I'm going to, as soon as I've sharpened my dagger. Why, Tink, you've drunk my medicine. What's the matter with you? It was poisoned. You drank it to save my life. Tink. Dear Tink, you're dying. Your light is growing faint, and if it goes out, that means you're dead. Your voice is so low, I can scarcely hear it. Do you think... You could get better if, if, if what, Tink? If children believed in fairies? Do you believe in fairies? Say quickly if you believe. If you believe, clap your hands. Next up, we have Juliana Long singing Don't Rain on My Parade from Funny Girl. Don't tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. Don't tell me not to fly, I've simply got to. If someone takes a spill, it's me and not you. Who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade? I'm washing my bands out. I'll be back. Down to your turn at bat, sir. At least I didn't fake it, hat, sir. I guess I didn't make it, but whether I'm the rose of sheer perfection, the freckle on the nose of life's complexion, the cinder or the shiny apple of its eye. I've got a fly once, I've got a try once, only can die once, right, sir? Oh, life is juicy, juicy, and you'll see I'm gonna have my bite, sir. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comer. I've simply got to march, my heart's a drummer. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. I'm gonna live 
and live now. Get what I want, I know how. One roll for the whole shebang. One throw, that bell will go clang. Eye on the target and wham. One shot, that gunshot and bam. Hey, Mr. Armstein, here I Your turn at that, sir. I guess I didn't fake it, huh, sir? I guess I didn't make it. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comer. I've simply got to march my heart to drummer. Nobody, nobody is gonna rain on my path. Next up, we have Maeve Sheehy performing a monologue from Alice in Wonderland. Why, well, how impolite of him. I asked him a civil question and he pretended not to hear me. That's not at all nice. I say, Mr. White Rabbit, where are you going? Hmm, he won't answer me, and I do so want to know what he's late for. I wonder if I might follow him. Why not? There's no rule that I may go where I please. I, I will follow him. Wait for me, Mr. White Rabbit. I'm coming too. How curious. I never realized that rabbit holes were so dark and so long and so empty. I believe I've been falling for five minutes and I still can't see the bottom. Hmm. After such a fall as this, I shall think nothing of tumbling downstairs. How brave they'll all think of me at home. Why, wouldn't I wouldn't say anything about if I fell off the top of the house. I wonder how many miles I've fallen by this time. I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. I wonder if I shall fall right through the earth. How funny would that be? Oh, I think I see it. I think I see the bottom. Yes, I'm sure I see the bottom. I shall hit the bottom and hit it very hard and oh, how it will hurt. Hi, I'm Sophia Moyland and we are doing a scene from Beetlejuice the musical. I play Lydia, a young girl who has lost her mother and has been struggling with that for a while after moving out of New York. And I am Kevin Santos and I play Delia, Lydia's new eccentric life coach who is trying to help Lydia cope with the loss. Hey, Lydia. Huh? Oh! <sighs> oh, that's a good one. Really captures your essence. Lydia, you cannot sneak up on people and take their essence. And anyway, I don't model anymore unless I'm paid up front in cash. I learned that the hard way. I just want something to remember you by when you're gone. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere. I had a vision. That's great. I had a vision once, too. I was at a sweat lodge. Actually, it's more like a really hot apartment in Queens with the doors locked from the outside. Well, in my and... vision, my father and I are back in New York. Everything is back to normal and oh, you don't exist. Lydia, I know that I am paid to care about you, but I'd like us to be real friends, you know? So uh, how about you and I together? We clear out all that old junk in the attic and build you a dark room. My whole life is now. One big dark room. Well, that's depressing. My guru also says that depression is like an ugly sweater. It's okay at Christmas, but the rest of the year, gotta put it away. 
Which reminds me, I got you a new dress for your father's business dinner. Oh, it screams. I'm warm, I'm friendly, and I think about death only a normal amount. I prefer black. Black reminds me of a funeral. This is a business dinner. Could be both. A toast to my father and all his important business. Also, one of your glasses is poisoned. Lydia, you give me that. Smash. (sighs) Lydia, right now, you are redirecting anger and deflecting pain. In other terms, I learned in my training, but what you need is a new perspective. The universe is more than just space with no end. La 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 la. Just think of the universe as a female best friend. And you can be like, hey universe, what's happening? Girl. And she'll be like, I know is running the world and you'll be like what in the universe will be like i know you're on the right track girl i got your back girl i'm helping you grow think positive act positive you are a child of the earth life coaching nailing it time to take command you dictate the hand the universe deals look Science makes no sense, who needs evidence? Go with your feels, I'm like a radio Tune to the stars I found my frequency crystals speak to me What are they saying? Buy more crystals Everything, everything happened for a reason Be a big and a light in the world Put a little all right in the world There's future guides, have a look up and see them Perception is reality, just listen to the melody the universe sings. Cause everything, everything happens for a reason. I hate to tell you, but the universe is just the contents of time, matter, and space. Well, yeah. 91 billion light years across, and the Earth's a small place where good people die. Oh. Yeah, in famine and wars. The Pacific Islands are sinking, but negative thinking is hardly the cause. You think life is all unicorns and rainbows cause you're bored. Positivity is a luxury that few can afford. We're gonna die, yes you and I, meaninglessness and alone. No, 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 no. One day you may wake up all alone Cause your husband in a river but a boat and then a hill we the road That's specific So you cry to sleep in a deep despair Talking to the walls cause there's no one there And you have to buy a cat Yeah, that's your last chance to have a family Take it from me As your aging ass will have to you believe that Everything, everything happens for a reason. Put some more fun in the world. A little, I am still young in the world. Still up your fears in top of where and freeze them. Is this still about me? Everything, everything happens. Sounds like terrible things can happen because the universe is random. Yes, but random for a reason. singing Seize the Day from Newsies. Now is the time to seize the day. Stay down the odds and seize the day. Minute by minute, that's how you win it. We will find a way. But let us seize the day Courage cannot erase our fears Courage is when we face our fears 
Tell those with power, safe in their towers, we will not obey. Behold the brave battalion that stands side by side, too few in number and too proud to hide. Then say to the others who did not follow through, You're still our brothers and we will fight for you. Now is the time to seize the day. Stare down the odds and seize the day. Once we be gone, if we stand as one, someday become somehow. And a prayer becomes a vow, and the strike starts a right day now. Now is the time to seize the day. Answer the call and don't delay. Wrongs will be right if we're united. Let us seize the day. Now we hear it loud and clear. Like it or not, we're drawing near. Proud and defiant, or slay the giant. Judgment day is here. How stands a heart love? Look what's begun. One for all and all for one. For our final act, we would like to welcome our wonderful eighth graders in their performance of Freak Flag, as well as a scene from Shrek the Musical. Just when you think that life can't get any worse, you get a victim from a swamp. I really thought that stupid green ogre was gonna help us. He still might. Maybe if we close our eyes and clap really hard. Oh, grow up. I won't grow up. You're 34 and need a shave. Oh, that's a little low. What? Am I wrong? Where to now? 40 miles north, they said. There's a landfill with our names on it. Landfill? Are you kidding me? What's next? The dung hill? A septic tank? How low do we have to go, people? I think it's time we stood up to Farquaad ourselves. I don't know. I don't know. Gingy's right. We need to get off our fluffy butts and do something. Maybe yeah, we it's it's what he try. said. Now, wait a minute. Maybe that ogre wasn't the answer. But something better will come along. And we have to wait for it. Because that is what fairy tale creatures do. We wait for miracles. We wish upon stars. Why, my cricket always told me. Ugh, forget the cricket. If he was so smart, he would have seen that windshield coming. No, no! We just need to lay low until this all blows over. Oh, none of this would have happened if I was a real boy. Why can't I be a real boy? Listen up, puppet! We spend our whole lives wishing. We weren't so freaking strange. They made us feel that way. But it's they who need to change. The way they think that is. That's right, Wolfie. Let your freak fly away. Let your freak fly away. Never take it down, never take it down. Raise away your fun. Let your freak fly away. But it's not a choice you made, it's just how you were hatched. Let, let your freak fly away, let your freak fly away. Never take it down, never take it down, raise your 
My name is Brian Harden, and I'm an advisor for the Joyce Middle School Theater Program. On behalf of my teammate, my co-captain, our other advisor, Mr. Ben Briggio, our three directors, Megan Dever, Tara Metters, and Melissa Murphy, and our cast, I'd like to thank you all for attending tonight. When we created this program in the fall of 2019, we had no idea that we would be faced with a pandemic that sent us all home a year ago tomorrow. It had been about a month since the performance of our debut musical, Annie Jr., and we all felt like the momentum of our new program was put to a sudden stop so soon after the three month journey of preparing for our show had come to an end. Although we were finally able to return to school in late September of this year, the hybrid model was a major change from what we were all used to as educators and students. But I think I can speak for so many that we were grateful to have some in-person interaction in a safe school setting. Still, there was something missing. So, we started the first ever Joyce Middle School after school virtual theater program brought to you by Google Meet. Every Monday for the last four months, our three directors have played lessons for our students in this program that have helped with their singing, acting, creativity, and confidence. All those lessons and experiences led us to the show that you saw tonight. I hope that you were as entertained as I was and that your heart is as warm as mine is right now. It's a challenge to learn the core subjects remotely, but when it comes to the performing arts, there is a barrier there that is hard to break down. But the willpower, dedication, and positive attitudes of these students has demonstrated that their love for the theater knows no bounds, and they can thrive under the most difficult circumstances. So, the goal of this fundraiser was to raise money for our musical, The Little Mermaid Jr., that will be performed this June. Obviously, there will be many changes to our production, for those of you who experienced Annie Jr. last year. But, tonight's Broadway Follies gives me hope for our program and for our show, that these changes will lead to an even better show because we have all created a community here that will always support our young actors. So stay tuned this spring because we're only just getting started. Finally, I have a message for the families of our cast here tonight. I want to thank you for trusting us with your children through Annie Jr., our weekly after-school program, and now The Little Mermaid Jr. This is not something that we take lightly, but I feel comfortable with this responsibility because of the four people that I share the responsibility with. I'm the luckiest teacher in Woburn. I had the privilege of leading this program with my fellow advisor and best friend, Mr. Ben Briggio, who gives his time, energy, and love to all in our program. And I get to advise our three directors, Melissa, Tara, and Megan. In the almost 500 days since we held our first auditions for Annie Jr., not a week has gone by where I have not been in awe of the work that they do building this program. They are a guiding light for our students to follow and have given them hope that they don't have to wait decades to make their dreams come true, but they can achieve them as they are still preparing for life's journey. So I thank you all for your support, financial, moral, and even at times emotional. Let us continue to encourage each other and our children to embrace the passion they have for the performing arts. Because there's one thing that my students have taught me in the last two years, Anything is possible for a kid who is loved and appreciated. And I am grateful for all the love and appreciation you have given all of us and will continue to give us on our journey. Thank you and good night.